Hey everybody, it's me, the LB, Liz Brock. Welcome to your stretch day. We get to stretch it all out, but first we have to get the muscles a little warmed up. So let's just jog in place. You have to get the body warmed up and ready to really get into a deep stretch. So this is going to feel really good if you have spent your week really going heavy on the weights. All right, bring those feet up to the booty. Knees are down, heels are up, kicking that booty. You feeling it? Okay, now I want you to go into a hip opener. You're gonna open that knee up and out, and then up and back in. Up and out, up and back in. Only rotating from the lower half of the body. Here we go. All about range of motion. You can stay low if you need to. Last one. All right, now let's get some alternating heel touches, or toe touches, sorry about that. This should feel really good on those hamstrings, especially if you've been working the legs recently. You've gotta make sure that you stretch the muscles out to keep them, to keep them nice and loose. Let's get some torso rotations. You might actually give yourself a little chiropractic adjustment, <laughs> feeling a little, or hearing a little pop. Oh, feels good. All right, are you ready? Work your way down to the floor. Oh, lay all the way down. Take one leg. Bring that knee in towards the armpit. Gently pull it, don't force anything. And make sure that you always breathe. All right, now let that knee fall over the opposite side of the body. This is called a supine twist. You should feel it all the way down the back into the glutes, some into the hamstrings. Keep breathing. All right, let's get that other side. Other knee comes in towards the armpit. Remember to please grab below the knee. Don't ever grab your knee. Big deep breath. All right, bring that knee across. Nice and easy. Look over that opposite shoulder. Try to keep those shoulders anchored into the ground. All right, let's release that. I want you to take your right ankle, put it on the left knee, I want you to pull through, bring that left leg up, grab underneath the knee, and gently pull it towards you. You should really feel this in that glute. You should really, really feel it. Oh! All right, let's switch sides. So now left ankle goes over the right knee. Lift up that right leg. Thread your arm through the hole. You can grab behind your thigh if you need to, or you can grab right below the knee. Just a little pull. You do not need to pull forcefully on here, on this one. Just a small stretch is all you need on this one. Nice. Now roll it up. Bring the soles of the feet together. Grab the ankles, use the elbows to push the knees down. And just breathe, keep the head and the chest up. And you can just do a little side to side motion here. 
and the more you press your chest forward, the deeper the stretch you're going to get. Come on, you got it. Good job. All right, let's release that. Come up onto the knees. We're going to bring that right leg forward. Left leg is back. Knee is bent. 90 degree angle here. And you're just leaning forward, really stretching out that hip flexor. Keep the knee behind the toe. Chest is up. All right, good job. Release that. Bring that left leg forward. And then lean. Oh, lean forward into it. Again, you should really feel that right here in your hip flexor. All right, good job. Now back to your knees. I want you to curl your toes up. Hands are down. You're going to push it up into a down dog, downward dog. Pedal the feet back and forth, trying to get the heel as close to the floor as you can. Now push, I want you to pretend like you're trying to push the floor away from your hands and really try to get those heels down. Great job. Now from here, I want you to come to a high plank. Push it back into down dog. Plank, down into upward dog. Uncurl the feet. Neck is up, head is up. Curl the toes, back into plank. Back into downward dog. Back into plank. Legs are down, uncurl the feet, upward dog. Let's do one more sequence, uncurl the toes, up to plank. Back down to downward dog. Down into plank. Legs are down. Uncurl the feet. Upward dog. All right. Uncurl the toes. I want you to bring it back up into down dog. I want you to raise that right leg. And then I want you to slowly bring that knee into the nose. Uncurl that back toe those back toes. This is a pigeon. From here, you can either stay right here, you can come down onto your forearms, or if you're feeling super duper flexible, you can stretch those arms out and come all the way down. And release that back leg. Let all the tension leave the legs. Take a few breaths here. Great job. Slowly walk the hands back up. Come back up. And we are going to work that other leg. So come back into your down dog. Raise that left leg. Slowly bring the left knee in. Release that back foot. And again, you can stay here. You can come onto the forearms. Or if you're feeling super flexible today, come all the way down. Release that back leg. A few breaths here. Great job. Slowly walk it in. And release that. Bring that leg back. Now what we're going to do, I want those toes, those feet together, knees are wide, pushing it back into a child's pose. So you really want to sink those hips down, stretch the arms as far away from the body as you can get. We're going to spend a few moments here. 
getting in touch with our breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. If you can sink those hips down even farther, that would be great. Okay, now I want you to take your left arm, thread it underneath that right arm and bring your left ear down to the floor, getting a nice shoulder and back stretch on that left side. Taking a few breaths here, really sinking into this stretch. Excellent, let's release that. Now take the right arm, thread it underneath the left. Right ear comes to the floor. Keep paying attention to having those hips sink down into the feet. Excellent job. Now I want you to come up onto all fours. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Knees are underneath the hips. You're going to lean to the right and then lean to the back, lean to the left, lean forward. You're going to basically do a circle. One continuous circle, really focusing on rolling those shoulders as you come around. Let's get one more going this way and then we'll switch. And I know this feels a little weird. All right, let's go counterclockwise now. This move is going to take a little bit of getting used to. You might have to do this video a few times and really play around with this shoulder motion to get used to it, okay? Great job. Now let's get a little bit of cat-cow. So we're going to arch the back, raise the head, and then exhale, rounding out the back. Head is down. And now inhale and arch the back, head is up. Exhale, arching the back. One more, here's your cat. Nope, sorry, this is your cow. <laughs> and then arching the back up into cow. Cat, why can't I get that right, y'all? Excellent job. Now I want you to switch positions. I want you to move down onto your, your booty. I want your right leg, right leg, no, you know what, we're gonna do it this way first. Right leg is bent, left leg is extended. Your right arm is directly behind you. Fingers are facing away from the body. You're going to come up on the right foot right here, and you're going to bring that left arm above the head, looking behind you at your left hand, really getting a nice stretch. You should be feeling this stretch almost everywhere. All right, let's bring that down. And now switch it up. Extend the right leg, bend the left leg. The left foot should be in line with the right calf. You don't want it way up here, but you also don't want it way down there by the feet. Put that foot in line with your calf. Left hand is directly behind you. Fingers are pointing away from the body, taking that right arm and sweeping it above, looking back at that hand. I know that you're probably shaking because I'm shaking. We got a little strength action going here. And release. Whew. Let's lay back down for these last few stretches. I want you to roll down very slowly, one vertebrae at a time. 
Bring those arms above the head. This is a good morning stretch. Give me a few breaths here. Really focusing on your breathing, inhaling all of that oxygen into the, try to fill up the bottom of your lungs. Now on your next exhale, you're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time and you're going to grab your feet or place your hands on your shins. So inhale, exhale, we roll up very slowly, a little bit of core action working right here and we're moving down into the feet, really stretching out those hamstrings. If you need to be here on the shins, that's okay. Maybe you're here on the thigh, that's okay too. But what I want you to do is I want you to try and work your way to coming down a little bit farther each time. Now release, sliding the hands up the legs, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Coming back into your good morning stretch. We are going to do this two more times. Take a couple deep breaths here. Okay, on your next exhale, roll it up. Again, one vertebrae at a time, slow and controlled, slow and controlled. Release the feet, bringing the hands towards the feet, bringing the chest down towards the legs as far as you can go. Maybe you can go a little bit farther this time. We want to work our way closer and closer to the legs every time. All right, sliding the hands up the legs, rolling down one vertebrae at a time bringing the arms above the head, taking a couple of deep breaths here, and then we have one more. And then you are finished. All right, inhale, exhale, roll it up. Neck comes up first. One vertebrae at a time, trying your best to keep those legs pressed down into the mat, sliding those hands forward, bringing the chest down to the legs. And if you need to keep a slight bend in the legs, that's great. Really feel that hamstring stretch. All right, release that. I am so glad that you were here today to stretch your muscles out. Friend, hear me when I say that this is a day you should not skip. Everybody wants to skip the, the cool down. Everybody wants to skip the stretch day, the recover day. Please do not neglect this day because this is the day that's gonna keep your muscles strong, it's gonna keep your muscles flexible, and it will also help to reduce that soreness that you feel after your workouts. So keep pushing play, keep showing up, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. And I will see you next time.